Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I've got some voiceover recording tips for you. More and more people are using the built-in recording right to the timeline inside Premiere Pro. And if you use the default settings, a few things can happen. And uh, sometimes you can hear things you shouldn't hear and your organization of these captured files is a mess. So I'm gonna show you a few tips. The first tip is to mute the input while recording. It's in the audio preferences. In the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, preferences, audio. Mute input during record. This prevents a feedback loop happening if, if you're not using headphones, and you really should be, but if your speakers are playing what you're recording at the same time, it's a huge mess. Okay, I'll click OK. Next is the location of where these files are. Again, in the file menu this time, project settings, scratch disks, captured audio, same as project. If this is in a different location, which it can be, uh, you could easily lose these files. I think it makes sense to put everything together in one project folder. So whenever I start a project, I have a project folder, and in there I've got my project, and I've got any audio, graphics, all the stuff that I need for that project in that project. Okay. Now, another one is to show the track names, and you'll see I've got track names. To do that, right-click on a track and choose Customize, and you drag this A1 down over here. So if I reset the layout, it's gone. We don't see the track names. Right-click, Customize, drag the A1 down here to the right, click OK. So now I can see the names of I can see the names of my track. I named them in the audio track mixer, which you can get to from the window menu, audio track mixer, and you can just select the names down here as I've done, and I rename them. Now, I do wanna mention you can right click on each track and rename them right in the timeline. I like to work with the audio track mixer, which is not turned on by default, it's hidden, so you need to show that. This is more like a digital audio workstation, a DAW, like Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, where you actually have control for each track and you can add effects per track if you're not used to doing that. I like working with the audio track mixer. Another one that I think is important is right now, these tracks are standard tracks. Standard tracks, you can think of them as stereo tracks, but they're not called stereo because a standard track in Premiere Pro can hold both mono and stereo media. The problem I find when I'm recording voiceovers on my workstation for my show is that I'm recording on a single input, a mono uh, input. But if you record a mono input in a standard track, it will only play in one side. It's a real pain. So I like to have a VO as a, a mono track. So what I'll do is I'll add a track. So it says, Add, adding a track will add the same track, but add tracks will add what I say. So zero uh, video tracks, one track before the first track, mono, okay. So now you see that little icon show up. That means I'm going to be recording a mono signal in to a mono track, and I'll hear it in both ears. I like that one. Okay. Now, if you right click and choose voiceover recording settings, here you get to, to um, check the volume. Now the volume input is not, you can't change that here. It's based on whatever you're using for your system. So on Windows, there's a huge amount of volume controls in the uh, system settings, the volume input. I'm just using the built-in microphone in my uh, Dell mobile workstation, but you can choose anything you want. You can pick the source here if you happen to have um, a, uh, an audio interface. Now I've got a whole other tutorial, which I'll link in the description about why would you use an audio interface? Uh, and I do when I'm on my workstation, uh, I'm pointing over there because I, I shoot my show here, but I edit over there. Okay, 
So I'm going to name this VO and I'll close and I'll make sure that I'm recording on this one. I can, like I said, record here, but I'm going to record on this one by clicking here. Oh yeah, by the way, I can set to, set to have uh, sound uh, countdown cues, pre-roll and post-roll. I'm going to have a little pre-roll here. Close this. I've also found it useful to not stop after and to wait before I start recording. Because sometimes when you hit stop, it's it chops off the clip and it's gone. So you've actually, you'll hear it end too quick. So take your time, wait a second, then record, because you can always move things around. So I'm gonna hit play at the beginning here and record my first voiceover. Embark on a journey to far off lands, discovering hidden gems and breathtaking landscapes. So you can see I've got space at the beginning and space at the end. Now, what you will notice here is that VO shows up here at the bottom and there is no way to put that in a folder. I wish Adobe would let us control a bin to put that in, but you can't. So what you can do is you can, I'm gonna create a, a, a new folder and give it a name audio one dash VO. And now when I when I sort based on name, that starts up here at the top. And it's always going to be there. So I could drag these into my VO right away. Now, even if I have that selected, it still won't go into there. So I'll record another one now. Embrace the diverse experiences travel brings, creating lifelong memories. There's the next one. It shows up down there. Drag it into my VO. Hit another one. Each destination offers a unique story waiting to unfold. Drag it up into my VO. And now I've got this zoomed in a little bit, so I'll just drag that back to make it smaller. And one more. Travel broadens horizons and enriches the soul. And there we are. And if I right click on one of these, and show this in the Finder or Explorer. You can see it's in captured audio and it's in my voiceover recording tips. So it's in that captured audio. So when I move this folder, everything is going to be in that project folder and I'm not going to uh, lose something. This is a very typical problem of new users who aren't used to managing their own media, especially if you come from an iPhone where an iPhone has no file system that you control. Um, and it's a, there's a limited amount of stuff you can do. So there's a limited amount of stuff that can go wrong. A computer you have to control where everything is. So I've named my stuff, I put it into a folder, and I uh, kept it all together. Now, when I named this, I named this with the VO, with the, with, uh, 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 the letter V, which sorting-wise is at the bottom. Pat, who runs the Elite Fishing, came up with a really good idea to name the audio voiceover in that folder the same number. So I could have named this one voiceover. Each one would have one in it, but sorting wise, they would always show up at the top so they're easier to manage. So it's just another way to, to kind of put everything together in one. So now I've got all my voiceovers. Plans. Discovering hidden gems. The diverse experiences travel brings. Each destination offers a unique story. Travel broadens horizons. And if I want, I could select all of these 
and go to the essential sound, edit this, and I could, these are all already set. See how they've been uh, recognized as dialogue. So I could hit my enhance speech and it's going to automatically add a whole bunch of effects. So if I look at my effects, it adds the enhanced speech to this. So now it sounds better. Embark on a journey to far off lands, discovering hidden gems and the diverse experiences travel brings, creating lifelong memories. Now, of course, I can add any more voiceovers, including if I went back to this later, uh, you know, two or three days from now, I open it up and I need to insert more. And of course, you can do auto transcription, convert this to uh, titles. Uh, you can use something like Submachine, uh, which I've done tutorials uh, on. I'll put a link for Submachine where it does that kind of TikTok-y kind of boop, 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 subtitles that pop up. Lots of different ways to do voiceovers, uh, add some interest, add titles, add uh, captions in Premiere Pro. It's fully featured, it's amazing. Okay, hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us more, you can do that. Videoreveal.com slash shop, donate once or monthly. We appreciate all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to revisit some things that have been in Premiere Pro for a while, but uh, show you a few tips that might clean up your workflow for doing voiceovers.